Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. Today, I want to talk to you about this idea that I've heard from many of my clients, that everything will be better in their lives when things go back to normal. And I'm sure most of you have had this thought in certain ways. Maybe you had it about work or your social life or your financial condition. And yes, I understand the stress and the overwhelming feeling that many of us are having because our lives were not set up for a pandemic. And it's put a lot of pressure on the life that we created. Perhaps you work full time and your kids were in school full time, so that allowed you to work. Or you're in an industry that was doing really well and now it's shut down. So naturally we have this yearning to go back to the way things were before because they fit into the structure of your life and it made your life work. But what I'm finding is that this belief and this yearning creates more disharmony in everyone's lives in the moment. It creates this narrative that this moment's not enough and this moment is wrong and one day I'll be happy. But we all know that Life always has unexpected challenges in it. So yes, this part of our lives could open up again. But then we could still lose our job or our child could have trouble in a class or something we couldn't even imagine happens and it throws us off our game again. And this idea that we just need things to return back to normal It makes us hold on to this moment tighter, like we're just trying to get through it. But it's super stressful to live with this mindset that there's no peace that could be found in this moment. And only when things in the outside world change, that's when we could find joy and less stress and success. And for me, I know I've heard myself have this narrative. I think about sometimes my my children, oh, they'll be happy when they go back to school. I'll feel better when I could go outside more. My clients will be more successful when the economy gets better. And then I stop and I pause and I realize that it's still a trap. Anytime we live for the future and we start predicting what we need to happen for us to be okay, we're seeking certainty to make ourselves feel better. And the minute we do that, we are shutting down to this moment. No matter what this moment looks like, there's something sacred to be found. And we're forgetting that this moment is what predicts the future. This moment is where we plant the seeds for opportunity, for possibility, for change. But if we look at this moment just as something we have to power through, then we're kind of missing out on our lives. Every moment, there's something sacred. Every moment, there's an experience. Every moment, there's a lesson. Every moment, there's something to discover, even when you can't leave your apartment or your house. Life can be just as deep and meaningful if you're traveling around the world or you're walking to the bathroom. (laughs) Yes, experiencing things in the outside world is so beautiful, but discovering who we really are and how open our hearts can be and how deep our love could be and how creative we can be during challenging times, that all has so much potential in it. And so all this future thinking doesn't allow us to sit at home and be where we are. Yes, I believe in hope. I believe the unknown brings new possibilities. I believe in the idea of maybe. But to negate today, because it doesn't look like it looked last month or three months or five months ago, is really missing out on our lives. And what makes us think that tomorrow is any more valuable than today? You have every right to have preferences of what you like and what you don't like. And you could say, well, I preferred when my children went to school 
I preferred when I went to the office. I preferred when I have a job. Of course, many people preferred those things. But if the moment is not giving you that, then just wishing things to be different and living for the day that it's going to be different. Don't be fooled to think that because it's different, there are less possibilities. Every moment breeds infinite possibilities. Every moment we have the potential to plant new seeds and they will grow, even during tough times. And if we take our attention off of this moment because it's painful or it's uncomfortable or because we don't like what we see, we're taking our eye off our own ability to create something new in our lives. And we're taking our eyes off the depth and the sacredness of what each moment has to offer you. It could be a laugh. It could be a cup of coffee. It could be a walk. It could be a sunrise. It could be a new relationship. It could be a new business. You'd be surprised how much movement you can make in your life without even leaving your own home. But when we're busy just longing for how things used to be, we might miss out on everything that's possible in this moment and in the future. Maybe our commitment is not really waiting till life gets back to normal. Maybe our commitment is to meet life where it's bringing us, to show up every day with this expansive view and say, what's the most I can get from this moment? What's the most I can get from my life today? And that's the attitude that not even a pandemic can stop. That's an attitude where masterpieces are born and there's laughter and there's creativity. And yes, There could be pain and there could be sorrow and there could be grief, but life always has that mixture in it. But what many of us are doing is that we're willing to feel the pain and the grief and the sorrow and the misery and not the other piece because we're just waiting for something to change. But this is your life. Today is your life. And today is just as important and just as meaningful as any other day. And even if things open up in three months and people go back to their offices and the, and your children go back to school, that moment is not going to be more important than this moment. Every moment offers us this expansive view of life, but we need to be willing to let go of how things used to be. And we need to hold on to life a little more loosely and allow a little more room Because for all we know, this is the beginning of a lot of wonderful things. New ideas, new art, new green technology. Even look at the amazing Black Lives Matter movement. And hopefully the beginning of more racial equality and justice. And it's all happening in this moment. Every moment of our lives is not about going backwards. It's about being present. It's about feeling the depth of being alive. And it's about visioning this moment into the future. Living for a future that might never come. Living for a future that's based on the past. Looking for certainty when there is none. Is a very stressful way to live. It creates anxiety. It creates disappointment. It creates expectations. It creates this idea that something will save us tomorrow, when we are here to save ourselves today. So yes, be hopeful for your future. Uncertainty has so much gifts and so many possibilities, but living for the future is really not where it's at. It's living for the moment and aligning with your greater self and planting the seeds of possibilities and deep experiences and deep relationships in the now and you deserve a future that's much bigger and better than returning to normal you deserve a future that's filled with hope and possibilities and new beginnings and that all is possible if you could stand still in this moment 
and invest your energy in what is before you. You have what it takes to get through this. You have what it takes to create a new beginning. And you have what it takes to create a future brighter than you could ever imagine. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you could email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you'd like to buy my book, The Gift of Maybe, it's available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you like this podcast, you could subscribe and leave a comment.